Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to use STAD Advanced Concrete Design to design the concrete columns and shear walls for a structure that has already been created in STAD Pro. Now, before we go ahead and analyze this structure and send the column and shear wall information over to STAD Advanced Concrete Design, let's go ahead and review a few key aspects. The first thing we're going to notice is how the shear walls were modeled in this particular structure. You're going to notice that these walls were modeled as parametric surfaces at each level of the building structure. In STAD Pro, parametric models are used to preview the final mesh state of a wall, slab, or panel before it is committed to the full model. Plates modeled as parametric surfaces in STAD Pro can be designed as shear walls in STAD Advanced Concrete Design. In addition to that, I've also highlighted the column geometry in this particular model. And what you're going to notice is that since one of the columns is embedded in the concrete shear wall, it was segmented to correspond to the finite element mesh. When STAD Advanced Concrete Design imports model geometry from STAD Pro, the vertical elevation of the end nodes that are attached to any vertical member will be imported as a level. Now we're going to take a closer look at this once we get into STAD Advanced Concrete Design. We're going to tell the program where the levels are occurring so that the unbraced length of each column will be calculated correctly. In addition to that, let's also go ahead and take a look at the loading information for this particular model. As you can see, this model already contains all of their load cases that will be needed for concrete design. This model contains seismic load in both the X and Z directions. In addition to that, it also contains dead load and live load. Now we're at the point in our workflow where we're ready to perform an analysis. To perform an analysis, select the Analysis and Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, ensure that you have an Analysis command at the end of your input file, and perform an analysis. Once an analysis is complete, before we exit out of this dialog, you should go ahead and check to see if there are any errors or warnings. If you did receive any, you should visit the output file and see if those issues need to be rectified before moving on in your workflow. For this particular model, we did not receive any errors or warnings, so we're ready to move on to the concrete design process. Once your model is analyzed, you're ready to send your model data over to STAD Advanced Concrete Design. To access that area of the program, go to your workflow panel at the left-hand side of your screen and click on Advanced Concrete Design. When launching STAD Advanced Concrete Design from directly within STAD Pro, you're going to notice that your analysis data and your Advanced Concrete Design model are now fully linked, and this model will be saved in the same directory as your STAD Pro model. In addition to that, we're also going to enter our project details. The last thing in our project details we're going to take a look at is which design code we're going to be using to design our concrete elements. As you can see, the STAD Advanced Concrete Design workflow contains several U.S. and international design codes for concrete design. For this particular session, we'll be using the ACI 318, and we're going to use the 2019 version of this code. The last thing we're going to do while still in this area is let the program which design elements we're going to be working on. For this particular video series, we're going to be working on our column and wall design. Once we select our design element, let's go ahead and click on our Create Project button. Now at this point, the 
STAD Advanced Concrete Design Workflow is reading in our analysis model information, including all of our section properties, material properties, and loading and analysis information. Now that our model data has been sent over to STAD Advanced Concrete Design, we're ready to review our imported information and start our design process. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.